Poor Sam. Got knocked by a deer that he was supposed to kill. Alright, now, where do I start? Rifles. Oh, look, there's a door around here. I don't want to go through that door just yet. I'm going to go ahead and investigate the area. Anyways, I'm so glad that when I went to sleep, I didn't spoil myself a little bit of this game. Because I was so tempted to actually know the story. Like, I miss... I miss the Edie story. I didn't get to do Edie story. Just finish the game and then we'll, we'll discuss about it. Well, I'm just saying I didn't really spoil myself. I was temp I, I was tempted to do it, but yeah, I didn't that's... do it. I, I don't I don't want to ruin my I don't want to ruin because this game was actually pretty good. I like it. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Mm. Oh yeah, everybody lost a lot. And to really, for some really bizarre death. Oh, Gregory. Poor Gregory, he died when he was just a baby. Poor Gregory. Look at Gregory over here. Oh, look at that boy. Big smile, so much life, so much heart. God had to take him away. Why, God? Why? Why did you curse me, God? Don't you dare! Don't you dare preach your little a atheist stuff on my chat and my stream. <laughs> I know you. I can't oh. imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet. Oh, he likes to. The... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. I can't read that. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I... I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Oh. This kid's hardcore. <laughs> badass. Oh, look, we got a badass over here. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, everybody's gone. Oh, there they are. But Gus... Gus just kept flying his kite. Is this gonna be like some sort of Benjamin Franklin kind of death? The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Stuff not killing her. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. I wish that... I wish that what? Oh. Damn! I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. 
until we found you. So the storm kills him. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. So Gus died. Wait, how old was Gus? He was at least 11 years old. All right? Am I close? My math is probably off. So died by thunderstorm. Died by drowning. Um. Yeah. Deepest sympathy. Hmm. What a shame. These deaths are absolutely. How she tried to lock every door. Because the grandma, she make a shrine out of everything for everyone. My mom moved up to the wall and after um, her died. It upsets the. It, it upsets Dawn. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. So this place that was once called home became a cemetery for the family. This Dawn. It's Dawn and Sanjay. Hmm, she traveled to India. She loved India. Ah, look. Typical white girls taking pictures of African kids that look like they're starving. You ever heard that joke? <laughs> It's just a joke. Just a joke. So I'm not Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped <laughs> her a lot after her dad died. Sometimes religion can do that too. When you feel like you have lost a lot of faith and hope in the world. Uh, sometimes you try to turn to religion and it has helped you a bit. Just copy, paste, passport. For a volunteer center, meet with relief rep after school teaching, pack and fly to India. Dawn Finch. Ah, let's see. Yeah, Dawn and Sanjay. Yeah. Hmm. She died pretty recently. She's probably. So it was probably just Edith and Dawn. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay is her dad? And Dawn is her mother? Oh, yeah. So she's half white, half Indian. That makes her half white and half Indian. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. I can't go down there. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Lewis, mint, thyme, sage, and basil. Milton. What and to see this? kids in the house again. had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. What is this room? Was this the, like their own home school? Looks like this was a place for homeschooling. Louis Lowell's Odin, Gus, Barbara, Sweden, Gregory, Calvin, Sam, Molly, Edith. Damn, I got shy. We're all the way 
the top of the house. Reading is a Put it at last. Scientific method. Uh, I know about those things. They're pretty. I'm a, okay, so I guess Dawn became very religious after some shit that happened. Oh, so then Edith is the younger sister. So she had two older brothers. Yeah, yeah, she had two older brothers. So she's the youngest. We're playing the youngest sister. Relief efforts end in disaster. Yikes. Let me guess, Sanjay was in that disaster? But it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Is this the castle? Oh, this is Milton. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Just like Grandma, huh? Where's this? A school? Perhaps? Wow. Milton looks like a pretty good artist. Alright. Oh. What is this? Ooh, that's neat. Look at that. You can see the entire world up here. This is nice. It's like his own little, like his own little lighthouse. Damn, yo, these family must have been rich, but they were cursed with death their entire life. There's Milton. He's the only one with the crown. It's almost as if like. He was the most special one out of the rest. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. That's it? I was four when Milton disappeared. That's it? Milton drew a magic door and he disappeared. That's why he's missing. Okay, well technically he's missing, but we don't know if he's dead. I guess after all those years, it could possibly be dead. Who knows? Jesus. Boy, never ever. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Hmm. Ah. Just like that. That's sad. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, look, there's another passageway. Oh, we're not even done here. There's more. This is probably going to be Lewis. 
<clears throat> Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. This is pretty nice. Nice. It's a little dangerous, but it's a nice seating. Take a look out here in the ocean view. I can go back down the peephole. I'm just, I'm just getting up there just to take a look at the beautiful ocean view. Look at that house over there. I'm just admiring the view. Man. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Ooh, marijuana. Hey, love that little. Okay, we got a stoner in here. From oh, what? In his room? Very unrealistic too. A lot of things in this game looks really unrealistic, but they're like you said, they're all metaphors. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Hmm. He got a whole doobie. You know, does we? They don't really be thinking about shit like this. Look at all this little hobby. Ain't nobody thinking about us. Everybody's just super chill about it. He was so I would proud know, right? of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Hey, I don't blame him. I'm proud to be Asian. Hey, yo. Wonderland Turbo. This was the PS1. Look at that PS1 button over there. <laughs> this is technically a PlayStation 1. Yeah, he got three memory cards. <laughs> Damn. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. How ironic. He's dead right now. Terrible joke. Was that a terrible joke? Hey, look. He's just like us. Look at that. He's just like us. He's got a gaming PC. I mean, he's got he's got a gaming keyboard. Look at that shit. You know that's a gaming keyboard if your, if your keyboard... Has a color in, uh, in dic diction for like W A S D, and same thing for the buttons. That's how mine. That's how mine's laid out too. Mine's laid out just like that. And these monitors are fucking ugly. Their fucking rims are thick. They're thick. Mine ain't that thick. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Ooh. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Began to what? Now he must have really hated his job at the counter. His mind began to what? Wonder. Oh. Controller. 
Hey, look, a ladder. <laughs> With a wand. <laughs> I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something new. Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Let me guess, is he gonna go again? But he found something more. I worried about him then. Well, I'm playing Diablo right now. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Tobin. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. I'm technically songs for them to play. by moving these things and while doing the, the cutting at the same time. What does that say about me? He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. Won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. What 
Is that his mom yelling at him? Trying to get his attention? In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... A handsome queen! A beautiful prince! Hold up, what a minute. Hold up a minute. What, what, what decision should I make? I feel like it's a trap no matter where I go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to handsome queen, I guess. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Sound like a trap. The queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. Let's go the danger route. Sinister serpents. Oh, what happened? He followed the sound of her. Silver Heart. Silver Heart. Aha, uh -huh. great mind things are like, I see. What, did you choose the same thing or something? to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Exactly the same thing. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh my god, it's really vicious. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. It doesn't really seem like he likes his job that much. Then again, I don't blame him. For someone who had never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. began to forget the world we know. Ugh. This looks so lame. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Who am I? Am I Lewis? No. Right, going on? I still thought I could see. You see, he's out of it. Yeah. You, you have you have a big shadow there. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions.
including the wise Caliphate, that insisted on advising him. Do I make a good cameraman? I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Whoa, that, 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 that escalated. Whoa. Whoa. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Oh, well, he didn't like his job. I don't know why Edith was saying about how much he liked this job. But it didn't really look like he liked this job. And he was daydreaming on the job and then... I mean... His head cut off or was his hand cut off? I don't really think his head got cut off. I think his hand got cut off. And he died from loss of blood. That would make sense. Well, either way... Death by chopped at work. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Such a shame. You probably had good taste in weed too. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Oh. I wish we'd stayed. Whoa. What is all this? understand why we left. What is this in here? Boxes, bones. E M me. Edith Mom. Todd. T O D. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. I guess I'm close to the ending of the game. Sanjay. Disaster relief. To teach and to learn. Dawn Finch. Seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom. An inspiring, aspiring teacher. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Oh, Maybe I should have come it. sooner. I mean, now, now it's time for me to get to eat it, huh? I was worried that that was gonna be the way. But it had to end one I way. Was gonna be, I was gonna miss that. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Edith. What's all this? Hmm. Hmm. What are all these? Imaginary stuff that Lewis did. Picture of Edith. Happy 90th anniversary. 90th birthday. That's Edith, Dawn, and uh, 
Edith. Oh, that's Eddie. That's Dawn, Eddie, and Edith. Hmm. Well, I haven't got to Dawn. How, you know, how she died. Well, yeah, Dawn died. So her mother died. I probably missed that, that how Dawn died. How their mother no, died. No, you didn't miss it. Oh, okay. A feather pin. Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Is there anything else I could be investigating around here? Alright, I can't even go back out. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Oh. So Edie was sent to a retirement home? of the Finches by E. Day Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. <clears throat> I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed.
lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Mm. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Oh, poor Grandma. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Poor Grandma. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Dawn died of sickness. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. She's giving birth to me. I'm coming. I'm coming. This journal was supposed to be for you. You're hilarious. <laughs> I, hope you never see I see the light. <laughs> Let me out of here. Give me out. Push harder, lady. <laughs> and tell you all these stories myself. Push harder! This now. Things didn't work out that way. Harder? Push! He! He! Ooh! Go, 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 go! Ooh! A this genius! Is your story begins. Is born! I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. I'll make you proud, Mama. Hmm. Let me guess. Uh, she died giving birth. So that's it? That's the game? Yes, that's all. What you think? Yeah, that's pretty good. Which means it's uh uh maybe uh some things were left unexplained. Such as like they make it seem like there's this sort of monster hiding entity slash curse was plaguing their family and it yeah. was just like never explained and also some of the deaths that happened to some of these people you know it's just not realistic you know even if it is meta it's supposed to be like a metaphor it's not really the best way to explain some things 
you know, some like because like there's gonna be some people out there who's very simple and won't use their brain to think about it. Uh, we'll get confused. We can confuse. I mean, for me at least, I try. At least I try to understand it. You see how observant I was when I was playing this game, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I got the idea. It's just when it comes to more like a general perspective of people when they played this game, they're just like, "What the fuck? I'm so confused. What the hell is going on?" Let's talk about、uh, Molly. Molly, yeah. Yeah. Remember when they sent her to bed? Uh, on a on a hungry stomach. Yeah, on an empty stomach. They even lock the door from the outside. Yeah. Yeah. So when when you do that to a child, what do you think they're gonna do? That's she was probably being abused by her parents. Or are you asking me what would she do if I was what, her? With the little girl, yeah. I mean, she ate she ate stuff that was not edible. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. It got her sick. Yeah, it got her sick. I mean, of course I would get it, but then some people were just like, "What?" And remember Calvin? Calvin. Calvin is the boy who was on the swing. Yeah. Why would you build a swing right there, where the, it's so close to the edge? Yeah. You know how kids are. They they were gonna try to be. They're gonna try to swing as further as they can. Yeah, their curiosity. You know, they're, they'll put their curiosity first over their safety. You know, Sven is a pretty、uh, pretty smart guy. He he learned everything from his、uh, father-in-law.、Mm -hmm. His father-in-law was the one who who <laughs> who put the whole house in this ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And、uh, when they came to a new land,、um, Swen he he built the house from scratch. Yeah. All those corridors, the hidden puzzle, it was amazing. I mean, yeah. But his only mistake was that、um, a safety issue. Yeah. Safety issue. See. Pretty. Yeah. Not. Yeah, he's not very considerate as for, of the safety of the family. As for Barbara, I think what happened to her is that maybe there was a home invasion, and she probably got killed because of that. Yeah, I mean, she wouldn't run away and leave her ear behind like that. That's too much. Yeah. So basically, she got murdered. Yeah. Okay. The the the、uh, the grandma,、um, what's her name? Edie. Edie, yeah. She believes that there's a curse. Yeah. But it's not really a curse. It's just that people make bad decision,、uh, bad parenting, perhaps. Mm hmm. Hmm. But she convinced herself that there is a curse. That's her. That's her way of to explain things. As for you, you remember how Gregory was.、Uh, she, the, the the mom, she was on the phone all the time. She,、yeah. she forgot about the boy. Yeah, she was very neglective. I, I mean, I wouldn't really call it. Ne、uh, it was just careless. She probably forget about it. She she was just careless. She, I mean,、yeah. I mean, she turned off the water faucet. Yeah. But the whole thing with the frog thing didn't make any sense on why the faucet was turned back on. Like, was it at least trying to say that the baby turned on the faucet or something? With the like, toys? It just, it just didn't make any sense. You know, saying like, oh yeah, the toy. You know, as you can see, this toy caused Gregory to die from drowning. <laughs> And I'm just like, well, what is that supposed to mean? Are you trying to tell me that Gregory was playing with his toys? He accidentally hit the faucet, the faucet, and it turned on or something? Probably. That's one way to put it. It's a little weird, I guess. I mean, the toy was just jumping around by itself, and I, 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 don't, I don't know. It was just really weird. It was just really weird.、Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, Odin rode a, you know, rode a boat with his house in there. Yeah, not much is, is told about Odin except um, the boat. <laughs> that was crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> right, that was weird. And Walt, um, I don't, I don't know much about Walter's story. Why did he hide under, you know, neath the house? Because oh. when when he was little, um, oh, he was traumatized by his sister. He was, right? yes, he was traumatized by the incident that uh-huh. caused his sister's death. Uh huh. So it made him kind of, and shut, it made him shut himself away from the world. He was afraid of the things that. That kill his sister. Like something that was like outside. Yeah. I guess he was the one who believed his mother about the curse. Uh huh. About that that is monster in this world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he finally comes out, you know, he sees such a beautiful scenic world, and then all of a sudden, whoop, train hit him. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cruel. Sam's death was just the funniest. <laughs> yeah, it was just really, it was just really funny. I thought it was funny. Um, Barbara was a little confusing, <laughs> but when you told me about it, but it poss- it's a possible home invasion. Yes, that makes sense. And um, Gregory, Gregory's death didn't make sense. Gus, I can understand Gus. Boy is pretty rebellious. He kind of likes to shut us up away. And, you know, and of course he loves to fly his kite. So while he's flying his kite, he doesn't really care about the weather. But just fucking go with it because, you know, hardcore. I'm, I'm metal as fuck, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So yeah. then, of course, Lewis died by getting chopped. I don't believe he got chopped off the head. But if he got chopped off the hand, I can understand while he was working with the whole fucking fish thing. You know, he just keeps doing it and doing it while daydreaming and all of a sudden, chop his hand. Then he died from loss of blood. Like shit, man. When I was doing this fucking story, you know, I almost, you know, I almost like, you know, kind of didn't really pay too much attention to the fish thing. Like, yeah. ju- like just imagine, because like I was really just like, you know, grabbing the fish, push it all the way to the right and then toss it back out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just doing that while while trying to focus on the left side. So yeah, you see, you see how I'm like moving, moving like a yeah. drunk person on that side, right? It could be that, as you said, he was there by himself, unsupervised, and he, it happened. Yeah, yeah. While no one was around. Yeah. So you know, he's just working alone by himself. So he. Kinda what do you just... think about Milton? Milton, there wasn't really too much to explain about men. Milton, it was just exactly. Yeah, there was really not much to explain about to Milton. Just, Milton, like, basically, he went missing. Um, it sounds like he just ran away. But did you know that Milton is a character from a different game? No. <laughs> In a different game, he was the king named Milton with a magic brush. Mickey? No. What game? It's called the Unfinished One. Never created heard. by the same, been created by the same people who create this game. Never heard of it. It's for the PlayStation only. Yeah, but I never heard of it. Yeah. So Milton basically just went missing. Sounds yeah. like he just ran away and never came back. Dawn, you, died. you know how Edith and Edie, they, they their names are technically the same, yeah. Technically the same. Yeah. And remember in the story, Edie, she went to the old house. She saw the uh, the deer. Mm-hmm. In the beginning of the game, Edith also saw a deer. Yeah. They are very similar. Maybe Edith also believed in the curse. That's why her story sometimes isn't reliable. The The story that we went through is written by her. Yeah. That's why some of the things just didn't really make sense. Yeah. Like, especially how the way they were depicted, how they died. 
Stuff like that. Yeah. Alright, so. And Edith well, died by giving birth. Mm hmm. So, okay, select Edith to play from the beginning. Replay a story. Alright, well, there's really not much else, I guess. There's not, not much else. Uh, congratulations, by the way. You you finished the game. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Have you tried this before? No, I don't think so. Uh, it's basically the same thing, then. Alright. God damn, I only that... There's only 15 progress? 15% <laughs> progress? What the hell? <laughs> what else is there to do? Catch two rabbits with only two swoops? Oh yeah, remember the mm -hmm. owl? Mm -hmm. Play Calvin's story again. What? Whoop -whoop -whoop -whoop. Um, I don't understand that one. Play his story again. Oh! Really? What's what's the difference? Can I stop the swing? Uh loopy doopy doop. Telling, but it's not like I would say it's anything deep. It's just these families, you know, dealt with a pretty bad hand, a mm -hmm. weird bad hand. <laughs> we play a story, Calvin, for a whisk. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Well, maybe I didn't make up my mind. Maybe I want to grab some dinner. You can't change your fate. So I guess I gotta keep swinging then? I'm just gonna ignore the mushrooms? I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh. Hmm? Going around is impossible. Away. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. He's gonna prove you wrong. Maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did.
Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Hmm? There it is. What was the point of that? Play Calvin's story again. Alright. The Great Owl. Oh look, 95%. Let's just jump right up. <clears throat> Long enough to what? Long enough to hear Edith's commentary? What? I didn't know that. Oh, 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 oh. Edith's. I thought we were talking about Edith. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Edith. The Great Owl? Eh, I don't, I don't really feel like dealing with that. It looked pretty annoying. Alright, well, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's all. Uh... That's it. Alright. Mm, yeah. Eh. Yeah. Well, it was, it's good. It's not, it's not something that I will go, wow, this was amazing. <laughs> but apparently, some people actually think it was amazing. I don't know what people really got out of it. I mean, sometimes, I guess, I guess sometimes, sometimes I think that my family's curse, especially mostly <laughs> involved around my dad. You know? I mean, my sister make it, my sister and the doctor make it seem like it's if, like, he had this disorder of a schizophrenia, but to be honest with me, the way I see it, it's like he went through a part of depression to the point that it turned to a manic episode. He became manic. Or some shit like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I could be wrong. That's that's it, I guess. But, I, mean, I mean, our family doesn't die. I mean, look at look at your mom. Look at my grandma. She old and still kicking. Compared to this other old lady that's living with us, she's literally just walking around like. <laughs> <laughs> but our grandma, I mean, my my grandma and your mom. You know, she's still out there kicking and, you know, still talking shit. <laughs> she's still talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Well, I got no other games to play other than Yakuza and Dragon Ball. And I'm not getting Sekiro anytime soon. I really want to play Sekiro. But I'm so broke. Oh... Guess what? Yes. Sonic. Fuck that. I don't care about Sonic. Sonic. Get listen, it. Listen, I grew up with Super Mario. You think I give a <laughs> damn about Sonic? You know that Sonic and... So you know that Super Mario and Sonic Olympic game? You know who's I'm picking? Mario. What? <laughs> Fuck Why Sonic. You still, uh, why you Fuck. so... Huh? Why you gotta pick the mustache? Because I grew up with them. <laughs> the other guy's faster. <laughs> His shit was a he was annoying. <laughs> he was annoying. <laughs> I played his game. His sh his fucking game was annoying. I didn't like it. <laughs> it was like everything is too fast. I can't catch up. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, too fast for you, huh? <laughs> Come on, man. I play Dragon Ball Fighter Z. This shit is a fast-paced fighting game. It, I I can deal with it, but when I fucking play a fucking hedgehog running around the damn uh, weird ass te technical technology forest, saving the rabbits and you know the forest animals and shit, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? My rings, <laughs> my onion rings. <laughs> that goddamn man. Oh, that game never felt good playing. I really didn't like it. I, 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 could, I couldn't pay attention. It was so hard to catch on what the hell was going on. Yeah, I agree. Sonic is pretty bad. Yeah, I, I feel like that game was made for people who's really into speedrunning. That game was made for people who was into speedrunning. And Super Mario, it's a platform. It's a true platformer game. 
So, you know, that's good. And it was fun. Super Mario World was my first, while Super Mario on the NES was yours. Super Mario World was my first. I think Super Mario World was... I think it's belonged to your dad. Really? It was yours. No. Oh, I thought most of my games came from yours. No. Because, um... Because he came to the United States before me. And when I came over here, he already had the SNES. And he already has the Super Mario World. So my dad was a true gamer. <laughs> yeah. Well, he did got me the PS3 out of nowhere. He didn't get me the PS2. He got me the PS1 and the PS3. But then again, he started. He he was telling me saying that this PS3 was not for you. It was for me. I I bought it for the Blu-ray. Hmm. That's what that's what I was told. I was like, I don't care. I'm still using it. <laughs> This game, trash. Delete. Oh, oh, oh. Dauntless. It's trash. Delete it. It's trash. It's fucking garbage. Apex, garbage. I hate Battle Royale games. I can't get into it. It sucks. It's so boring. I gotta go around hunting everybody. It's just not fun. I, I like sh like straight up shooting, you know. Deathmatch, the team Overwatch death. is like that too. Overwatch, you know. Overwatch is really straight up, you know, multiplayer. You know, shoot them and gun them. That's not like. Oh yeah, I gotta go ahead and grab all these loot. You see that? <laughs> Be silent. North face degree to eighty and eighty degrees. Lati lati longitudinal latitude is 844 to 644. <laughs> Some shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all saying? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just over exaggerating that. <laughs> okay. okay, I've never, I haven't, I bought Resident Evil Revelation, but I have not given the game a, a try. Oh, really? No, I beat Resident Evil, beat Resident Evil 2. I bought Resident Evil Revelation, but I have not given it a try yet. I haven't finished Shimu 2 yet. Even though I already know what happens. Yeah, yeah. I told you. Alright, well, since this was a temporary game, I'm deleting this too. Undertale. Yeah, it was pretty. it's a pretty good game. I like how they tricked you. Yeah. Oh, you don't know about that? No, I never played it. I, I would tell you to play it, but I feel like this game isn't really for you. I mean, if you like Earthbound. No, I don't. Because this game was inspired by Earthbound a little bit. Yeah. But it, it has its own ways. But if anything, yes, Earthbound inspired Undertale. But you really don't like Earthbound? I like the music, but I don't like the battle system. The battle system confused the hell out of me. Really? It was like the most simplest thing, but it was hard as hit. It was simple, but it was hard. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, liked, I liked the game back then, mainly because the city looked pretty beautiful. It looked very, you know, really good. The, the, the city was what it attracted me. When I saw you play it, I thought the city looked really pretty. Yeah. It was. So yeah, I would tell I would tell you Undertale is a I would tell you to play Undertale because it is pretty good. I like the story and I like how the game tricks you. But I feel like you'll get a better experience if you play it on PC. I don't know how far this game would go. If uh, hmm. like I don't know how the PS4 version will go into like the whole breaking the fourth wall thing because this game has uh this game has ways to break the fourth wall you know how Hideo Kojima does I it see. Yeah. yeah there's a there, this game breaks the fourth wall 
Just like how Doki Doki Literature Girl Club uh, breaks the fourth yeah. wall too. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Undertale has that. And the way how they did it, you know, it, it got you. It got you. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3. I, I didn't like it. Compared to Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, I did not like this one. So, mm. It's sad. Because you want to know why? You want to know why this was so fucking bad? They, like, throughout their entire year, throughout the entire year, they kept pushing bullshit handheld games of Kingdom Hearts. They pushed it so hard that we all got so lost in the story. Even their recapping of the game didn't help. You would have to go watch somebody's YouTube videos, which was like 30 to 40 minutes, and you're just over there like, what the fuck? I ain't got time to watch all this shit. So, you, I played this game, I'm so fucking confused, and the battle system is the most boringest fucking system I've ever played. Flashy, but boring. How do you do that? How do you make <laughs> a battle system flashy, but you play it, it's so boring? Like, my friend, right? He's on another Discord of mine. He plays Kingdom Hearts 2. He was, he, he and I, we were really excited in playing Kingdom Hearts 3. But when he jumped into my stream and he was, he saw that I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3, he was like, Mass Triangle to win the game. Oh. That's all I did. All I did was, was fucking mashing Triangle and I kept winning my fight. It was so easy. It's like, there was no effort in playing. It's like, I could just mash X all fucking day. And then when I build up meter, Triangle. That fucking ma that fucking triangle magical button is so fucking OP. That shit is strong as fuck. And I'm playing on proud mode. That's like heart mode. That shit is easy. No problem. And not only that, they don't even got Final Fantasy characters in there. There's no Final Fantasy characters. There's no Cloud. There's no Sephiroth. There's no Squall. There's no Tifa. There's no Aerith. None of that shit. No Final Fantasy characters. How do you not have Final Fantasy characters in Kingdom Hearts? This game is basically straight up just Disney. It's ridiculous. I swear. I swear. It, I, it, it, it's really Disney's fault. I feel like when it comes to gaming, it's all Disney's fault. They fucked up Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and I feel like they fucked up Kingdom Hearts because they're trying to remote their movies. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts sucks, dude. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 3 sucks. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 sucks. But Kingdom Hearts yeah. 1 and 2 and Birth by Sleep, good games. You're not getting it back. Oh, I'm, I'm not. It's, it's too late now. <laughs> It's too late now. No way. Windjammers. It's a frisbee game. <laughs> I bought a frisbee game. Oh, I got Hitman. You know, when I played a Hitman game, I thought this game would be more open world like. And I just get to fucking disguise myself and every shit without getting detected so easily. But I remember when I played my first Assassin Hitman game, I was detected so fast. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? How do you know? This is the bald head. Resident Evil 2, good game. Shemu 1 and 2, good games. Resident Evil, good game. Persona 5, good game. Nero Automata, great game. Mortal Kombat X, a decent game. Kingdom Hearts 3, bad. Marvel Spider-Man, it's decent. Monster Hunter World, bad.
Yeah, I said it. I don't care. It's all right. Do, do you do you see me? I see you. I was <laughs> adjusting my um headphone. Crash. Um, it's good, but it doesn't motivate me to keep going. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Crash. Yeah, it doesn't motivate me to keep going anymore. Like how it did back then when I was a kid. It doesn't motivate me anymore. Back then I was motivated to finish it, but now it's like, uh, man, I, I don't want to put in, I don't want to put in the yeah, work. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Yeah, I, I just don't, don't, I just don't really want to put in the work. Yakuza 6, um, it's a good game, but not the best out of the series. Of course, Kiwami is good. It's fucking one and two. The fucking game that built the entire franchise. Duh. Oh man, I really want Sekiro. I really, really want Sekiro. But I'm so broke. I gave the. I, I, right now, I don't even keep my check. Yeah. Did I told you? Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, I don't keep my check anymore. You spent too much. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. What else should I play? Uh, 